Oh yeah, Summer Field Day 2023 and good food. That's what's coming up next on Alcara Ham Radio. Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP. Well, it's Summer Field Day 2023, and this is always a great opportunity to not only get our equipment out and practice setting it up, uh, you know, in the field, but also having uh, fun, having some good food, and of course, uh, playing and having fun in the contest, making some contacts. So uh, we set up our equipment there at Worldwide Headquarters, as uh, we do many times. Very similar to how we set up anywhere else we go. We set up our antennas, we set up uh, the uh, emergency communications trailer, and we also set up some of our canopies, some chairs and tables, uh, and uh, in preparation to uh, have a good time, to make some contacts, but again, also to uh, just enjoy uh, each other's company and uh, prepare some good food and uh, just have a good time uh, for this. Of course, again, we are... Wanting to set up our equipment, use the uh, the clamps and the tools that are needed to set it up to get in the practice of setting up the equipment and using the equipment. Because uh, that's a, a big part, of course, of what uh, Field Day is all about. And uh, we like to uh, to participate in that. Uh, we also like to participate in, uh, in a winter field, field day uh, when usually the weather is maybe not quite so nice. Uh, and we got lucky. The weather was very nice uh, this day. We'd had some rain just before. Uh, ended up having rain later on, uh, but for the most part, it was a pretty nice day. So again, we had our emergency communications trailer head up. We had the Tar Hill screwdriver antenna and the control box right there. Uh, also, some other antennas that we set up and even uh, set up a pulley on uh, an unused tower here at Worldwide Headquarters, as you'll see later. And one of our members, Josh, uh, he really went all out, brought his uh, food trailer and uh, was cooking up some uh, some cheesesteak sandwiches, some some deep fried spiral cut uh, potato. Um, also um, had uh, some funnel cake later on. Uh, unfortunately, I had to leave. I didn't get any of the funnel cake, but uh, uh, it certainly did look good. But uh, he uh, he was running things there, and so we really really stepped it up a notch on the food department. We always try to have uh, really good food at these events to uh, to bring people out. Uh, they can bring their families and. Uh, enjoy again each other's company uh, and also that deep fried corn that was really good that was the first time I had ever had deep fried corn uh, but let me tell you if you like corn and, and you like things with a little bit of caramelization on them uh, it was uh, it was really good and so were uh, the sandwiches as a whole so uh, we really appreciate Josh uh, standing behind the fire you know it was fairly warm this day but he uh, he really uh, put out the effort to uh, to make sure everybody had good food uh, and to use that uh, that trailer he's put together there. Uh, there's some of that funnel cake. Uh, for all, all accounts that I heard, it was really good. So wh- one of the things we did on this field day uh, in preparation, you can see we've got our emergency communications trailer pulled out and set up, uh, was we had one of our members, one of our uh, uh, youngest members probably, uh, Andrew, um, got his first tower climbing badge. Uh, he went up on, a, a, I think it was a 48-foot um, currently unused tower here at the, uh, at the, at the uh, worldwide headquarters and uh, took up a pulley so we could have a pulley system so that we could easily raise, uh, you know, in-fed long, you know, long antennas and things like that. And um, so we got him set up in the harness. He got some, uh, some instructions and he went on up, uh, went on up the tower, which, uh, which is guide off and, and everything. And so he earned his, uh, his tower badge and, uh, uh, is, uh, I believe going to be willing to, uh, to do some more tower climbing. We have several members that, uh, can get up on the towers. Now I'm, I'm personally really good at, uh, filming from the ground. <laughs> I, uh, I, I really excel at being on the ground in these scenarios, but, uh, we do have several members, including Josh and my brother, Brian, and, uh, and Ken, of course, you've seen Ken many times, a professional tower climber. So, uh, Andrew here is getting some uh, some last minute instructions, checking his harness, making sure it's nice and tight. And uh, he went up and took the uh, the uh, pulley system up there, got that set up, and so now we can more easily use this tower for some things uh, during events such as this, where we want to either test antennas or just set up 
different kinds of antennas uh, other than just things like the Tar Heel, which are nice and easy to set up. But of course, they do have their limitations. So uh, we were all uh, really proud of Andrew and gave him a lot of support and uh, again got him uh, hooked up and uh, filmed this momentous occasion uh, with him getting up there. But he uh, again took up the uh, the pulley system and they ended up putting up uh, an antenna that ended up working actually a lot better. Uh, as you know, you know, depending on whether you're running a vertical antenna or a horizontal antenna uh, can really make a difference on the kind of contacts you're making. And we weren't hearing a lot of traffic with the, uh, the Tar Heel uh, being a, a screwdriver type antenna and a vertical type of antenna. And uh, once they put up the, uh, uh, the NFED, uh, started hearing a lot more traffic and uh, were able to make some more contacts. So, again, it was, uh, it was great to, uh, to get a young member who was more than willing to try something new, uh, even though it made him a little nervous. But uh, again, he uh, he got up there on the tower and uh, and got that set up and, and got back down with uh, with no troubles uh, at all, and uh, and so we appreciated and supported him on uh, on doing that. And if if he wants to uh, to do additional tower climbing in the future, we can uh, support him on that as well. We certainly don't wouldn't require that of him, but we will certainly support him if he uh, if he wants to continue uh, doing that. Uh, so again, it helped us get a better antenna up for this situation, and uh, again, the folks manning the radios uh, definitely reported that they um, uh, had better luck with the NVAD versus the uh, uh, the Tar Hill on this particular day on, on those frequencies. And we had several groups, we'll see here in a moment, uh, we had several stations set up uh, for this particular field day. We had uh, APRS going, we had voice uh, going, we had uh, FT8 digital going. Uh, we had several folks uh, manning the radios and just having a good time uh, doing doing the field day, you know, kinds of activities. Uh, again, we always like to have good food and things and good camaraderie at, in any kind of an event uh, that the club has. But, uh, again, we want to get our equipment out, practice with our equipment, and uh, practice being on the radio. And we got some newer members, and so we always encourage them to uh, spend some time on the mic. And, uh, you know, if they have any you know, any kind of mic fright or anything to help them to overcome that and get just get the practice and experience. Uh, because, you know, once you've got licensed uh, operators around, you can even get uh, people who may not be currently licensed on the radio as third-party traffic. So it's always an opportunity uh, to, uh, to get very, very new folks who may not even be licensed up and running quite yet. So we got everything set up. Uh, again, we had several stations going. This was Chad. He was you doing up digital here too, units. or were you going to do just low power? Or? Just APRS. APRS. Yeah. With my MobiLink TNC3. Neat. But I got a. Also, I got a GPS clock right there. Uh huh. So I'm trying to adjust the date on my oh, computer. Oh, on the laptop. Yep. He got that set up. He was sitting at an outside station here. We had a couple running inside the trailer as well. <laughs> so here we have Chris Short set up. He had his son along with him this day. And uh, they uh, attend many of our events and help out with a lot of club activities. And uh, he's uh, sitting at the radio right now doing some voice uh, activities. And uh, we'll also see in a moment that we had another station set up and running here in the Incom trailer uh, with uh, our member Mike McRoberts. He was uh, set up and doing some a digital mode, some FT8, and he was showing that off to a, another one of our members. So they had that station uh, set up and running for a while as uh, as well. So uh, again, we like like to let people do uh, whatever they may be interested in when it comes to radio, whether it's digital, whether it's voice, uh, just whatever it is that folks are interested in, uh, you know, that's certainly fine by us. Now, one of the other things we had uh, going on, one of the other activities we had going on uh, this summer field day, uh, we did some testing. Uh, we had, of course, uh, plenty of EEs present uh, on this uh, particular day. And we had some members who were interested in doing some testing. And they uh, were ready to, uh, to do some testing. And so uh, they had uh, taken their technician pretty recently and passed that. And were ready for their general. And, uh, and so we uh, uh, went ahead, set them down, let them take the general. And uh, good news, they passed. Passed their general. So... Of course, that uh, then opens up quite a bit of the world, literally <laughs> speaking, um, uh, of radio uh, with HF operations and things. So uh, we were uh, happy that uh, that they did that. Uh, 
So we'll wrap this one up. This is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio 73.